guys, welcome to a brand new video from backpackerguy.nz where we're going to be diving much deeper into one of the subjects that you guys ask us so much about. And the first one that we're going to be tackling is going to be our favorite foods in New Zealand. There are so much delicacies to try in New Zealand and tasting new food, trying new food experiences is such an intricate part of the whole travel experience, I think. So there is a lot for us to cover. We're going to tell you 15 food that you must try in New Zealand. Yeah, absolutely. And New Zealand might not be absolutely known for its food scene, but it actually does have some amazing food to try here. There's a lot of food connected to the Maori culture. There's over 15,000 kilometers of coastline. So there's a lot of seafood that's well worth trying. And there's a lot of really cool like candies and sweets to try in New Zealand as well. So let's get started. All right, and we're going to be starting the first one with the hangi. It is the traditional Maori meal. It is cooked underground. Actually, it's slow cooked underground. It takes a whole day to prepare. So that's not really a surprise that night. It's not an everyday kind of meal. It is something which is reserved for the very special occasion, like Matariki, which is the Maori holiday here in New Zealand. It's something that you will be able to try in uh, during any of the events, uh, evening that you can do in New Zealand, like Maori evening, like in tamaki or in mitai in Rotorua and it's definitely worth trying because it just makes the, the meat super juicy and delicious as well as the vegetables like absolutely amazing. Yeah and number two on the list is crayfish otherwise known as lobster to everywhere else but it is known as crayfish in New Zealand and this is not exactly the cheapest food to try in New Zealand, but if you do get the opportunity, definitely don't pass on it because it is super fresh seafood, super lovely, and around the coastal areas, especially in Kaikoura, they're very well known for their crayfish, and if you can't afford the $80 that usually a full crayfish is, then you can always go opt for the half of a crayfish, which is always half the price. So there you go. It's not always half the Somebody's they make it like 45. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so number three, we are gonna go with Hockey Pocky ice cream. Mm -hmm. So it's like your vanilla ice cream smashed with uh, heaps of uh, really dried honey, I'd say. It's like caramelized. caramelized. Honeycomb. Yeah, 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 so it's really <laughs> awesome. It tastes absolutely delicious and I have never seen this kind of flavored ice cream anywhere in New Zealand. Usually you will find that when you go near any beach or any places where people go and line up to get an ice cream scone, this is always the topping which, uh, sorry, the, the, the flavor, flavor yeah. the flavor of ice cream which is like the lowest in the bucket. Everybody always goes crazy for hockey pokey ice cream. Definitely want to try it. And there is a really cool store in Auckland where you can try them. It's called Jaipo Ice Cream. It's like your super high-end ice cream. It's on Queen Street in Auckland and definitely worth trying. Yeah, and Hokey Pokey is also available in any supermarket that you go to as well. So if you fancy getting yourself a tub of ice cream, definitely go for Hokey Pokey in New Zealand. Yeah. All right, so number four is another seafood option. Um, this one is kinna, which is basically a sea urchin. And this is considered more of a delicacy in New Zealand. And to be honest, there's not a whole lot of places that you can try it. It's usually on tours where you're on boat tours or um, yeah, it's, it's usually boat tours. That's the only one I can think of right yeah. now. And what you eat is actually this little bit of flesh, which is inside the sea urchin. So usually your guide will show you how to open it up and then you eat the little bit of flesh on the inside. So it tastes very, very salty, very seafoody, but it, it is an absolute must try in New Zealand. All right, moving on to number five, it's gonna be the Kiwi Burger. Um, now, well, you guys have probably tried the hamburger. Uh, I'm pretty, you tried the hamburger before, right? Yeah, one yeah. or two, yeah. Um, <laughs> But the kiwi burger, the kiwi version of the burger is your traditional burger with a little bit of lettuce, some uh, ketchup, obviously a beef patty, and also a fried egg and a big slice of beetroot. <laughs> Don't diss it until you try it. It is not as bad as it sounds. It is pretty good. And uh, that's basically the kind of like the localized version of the burger that you would be able to find in almost any pubs. Yeah. 
And then he bows around. And the they country. used to do it in McDonald's even for a for a short time. Yeah, they do some <laughs> limited edition. Yeah. yeah that's true. All right, moving on. Okay, so number six on the list, we'll move on to some New Zealand sweets now, and probably the biggest. New Zealand confectionery is Jaffa's. Now this is just basically like a, a chocolate ball coated in a nice sweet orange, um, sort of like crispy hard center. hard coating. Yeah, yeah exactly. So um, yeah, you can find them in any dairy, which is a New Zealand word for a convenience store, any supermarket, and that's definitely something that you need to pick up as a snack on the road. And a cool thing that they do actually with Jaffa's in Dunedin on the steepest street of well in the guinness book, book records for the steepest street in the world this is uh, baldwin street and usually every single year they throw jaffas down this hill and do a jaffa race but like thousands of yeah jaffas. so it's quite crazy. every jaffa has a number on it and they see which jaffa gets to the bottom of the street first yeah. which is a pretty cool way to use jaffas i guess i mean yeah. i like to eat them i, <laughs> I, just, I, I just like to eat them <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, moving on to number seven. It is the traditional kiwi dessert, mm. and this is the pavlova. Now, before you guys stop us, I know that all the Australians over there are claiming that pavlovas is their own, but pavlovas has been finally the pavlova controversy has been finally settled last year, and it is clearly a New Zealand dessert. So the pavlova, it's New Zealand. Basically, it is a massive meringue cake cake with a heap of cream, a lot of fresh fruit on it. It's absolutely delicious. It's definitely worth trying now. Pavlovas are actually quite hard to find around because, well, most restaurants and everything don't make those kind of meringue fresh because you can keep them for too long. Um, and when you find them in a pub, uh, always ask if it's going to be something which has been frozen before or not because if it has been frozen, it's absolutely awful. And we've had a bad experience with that. Like, honestly, it was literally one of the worst desserts I've had. It just felt like a spoon of sugar. Um, so another way to actually taste um, pavlova, oh yes, I do, I am into my dessert. Uh, another way to taste pavlova is actually to make it yourself. There is heaps of recipes. We actually have an article on backpackerguide.nz with five recipes that you may want to cook for yourself just to have a bit of kiwi taste. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can make it yourself, maybe do it for Christmas if you're here for the holiday. Yeah. It's definitely worth doing. It is absolutely delicious. And aside from that, there is a lot of a really small cafe that make their own pavlovas and it's super delicious. I remember we did try one in Chuatapuri, yeah. down in the south. And then if you check our New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year video, you'll be able to see us. Mm, so, uh, <laughs> Indulging. Pavlova. It was awesome. Yeah. Anyway, I've been talking about Pavlova for way too long. Yeah, on. maybe we'll move on to the next one. So this one's a little bit cheating because it's a drink rather than a food, but it, it's an absolute must try anyway, and that is L&P. And L&P is a soft drink in New Zealand, and it stands for Lemon and Pyroa, which is the town where the spring water used for this drink was originally coming from, um, but now it's owned by the Coca-Cola company because it grew so big. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's pretty much as common to find as any soft drink in New Zealand. You know, it's it's in every sort of fast food store. You can get it in any convenience store. Um, and it basically tastes like Sprite, but a little bit sweeter and a little bit more lemonier. Yeah, and if you stop by the town of Parora, which is south of Auckland, uh, you can stop by and take a picture of yourself with a massive uh, LNP lemon Parora drink bottle. It is one of those things you can do in New Zealand. Um, maybe maybe not the best thing to do in New Zealand, no. but one of those things you can yeah, do in New Yeah, one of those things. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on to number nine, we are going to be talking about white bait fritters. So now white bait is kind of this generic name for all those uh, immature fish that you can find in river estuaries around the country. Um, <laughs> it is a absolute must try on the west coast of the South Island. The region actually prides itself on being known for that. Um, the way you cook the fritter is that you get a bunch of white bait, you usually crack a couple of eggs with it and maybe a couple of vegetables and put them in a frying pan to make, well, a fritter. Um, it tastes, guess what, really fishy. And uh, yeah, it is worth trying, it's very different. Um, and yeah, there are some places actually that actually make it for you. So it's not something you necessarily have to do yourself. And one funny thing is that if you travel around the West Coast, uh, around the white bait season, you're gonna see a lot of kiwis alongside the river actually trying to catch their own white bait. Chat to the local and ask them their way to cook it because every single one of them has a different way to, to make it. So yeah. yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah, so let's move on to our next food, which is manuka honey. Um, this is probably the food that is more known internationally. It is super famous and 
It's basically made from the hoodie that is come from Manuka trees, which is a type of tree in New Zealand. And it has, um, yeah, it's famous for its medicinal purposes. And um, basically the higher the concentration of Manuka in it, the more it's basically healthier for you and the more expensive it gets. Yeah. It gets. Um, but yeah, you can try Manuka honey, you can buy it for, for yourself in the supermarkets, but there's loads of honey stores where basically it's beekeepers around New Zealand will have their own stores around, which you usually see on the side of the road, to be fair. You always see signs for yeah. Manuka honey along the roadsides of New Zealand. So lots of opportunity to try honey, well, Man Manuka honey in particular in New Zealand. So definitely give it a go. All right, I'm just gonna give you a quick tip about uh, Manuka honey. Um, you can find Manuka honey in a lot of souvenir shops, but they're usually super overpriced. So if you stop alongside the road and buy it there, or if you buy them in supermarket, you will actually save tens or hundreds of dollars on your gift to bring back home. And honey is a really good gift to bring back home since it, I think it's the only food in the world that doesn't expire at all. So, mm. um, so yeah. Honey doesn't expire, great gift to bring back home. Anyway, just wanted to point this one out. Yeah. I'm moving on to number 11. <laughs> um, all right, number 11 is Kumara. Uh, Kumara is basically uh, amazing sweet potatoes. Um, it's, um, it's, very, it's very common in New Zealand to find dish with Kumara. Sometimes you even have Kumara french fries, um, which is really cool. So if you go to certain um, fast food chain actually you can actually change your fries from potatoes to kumara which is really cool um it tastes really sweet it tastes absolutely amazing really often you're going to get it um uh, alongside the hangi so that's going to be one of the vegetables they're going to put cook on the ground for you alongside all the meat it is really delicious a uh, it's sweet potato like you never tried it before. So yeah. if you do like sweet potato, try kumara. Yeah. And the reason kumara is so famous is because that's the vegetable that the early Maori actually brought with them to New Zealand. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's basically been the favorite vegetable of the country since people lived here. So yeah. that's the cool thing about it. Um, anyway, moving on to number 12. And uh, number 12 on the list is power, which is a local name for a sort of giant sea snail. And it's probably more famous for its shell rather than the food itself. The food is really good. It's another amazing seafood in New Zealand, which you can either eat raw or cooked or um, fried, fried, Everybody curried. Fries it, yeah. yeah, so the food itself is really good, but you're more likely to see its shell everywhere in New Zealand. It's basically the national ashtray. <laughs> Any ashtrays used in like, you know, what it. Um, uh, restaurant picnic benches outside and stuff they always have power shells as the ashtray and you see it a lot in jewelry and and um, also like Maori carvings around New Zealand as well so you're gonna see this sparkly blue shell everywhere hey mum I brought you a necklace it's made of an ashtray <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, all right, moving on to number 13, roast lamb. Um, now, lamb is the largest export uh, meat export in New Zealand. It is a huge industry, and when you're going to be driving alongside the country, well, you're going to see a lot of lamb and sheep. Um, you know, it's said in New Zealand that it's 10 sheep uh, per habitant in the country, and uh, yeah, there are really a lot of them. So it's not surprise that lamb is a big thing here in New Zealand. You will find roast lamb in all the fancy restaurants, but also in quite a lot of pubs as well. So it's definitely worth trying because, well, it's going to be the freshest lamb around. Yeah. Okay, next on our list, we'll go for savory pies, which in New Zealand is more commonly known as pies. Pies are basically a go-to snack food when you're on the go for lunch. And it's usually, obviously, pies is a pastry outing with some sort of filling like uh, mince and gravy or steak and gravy. And you can pick these up in pretty much any gas station or, you know, any, any supermarket really. But there are some really awesome bakeries around New Zealand that specialize and claim in having the best pies in New Zealand. So they're definitely always worth trying. And yeah, they're super yummy. All right, and we're going to round up this 15th amazing food that you have to try in New Zealand with number 15. We started by telling you that there is 15,000 kilometers of coastlines in New Zealand and, well, those coastlines provide some of the best fish and chips in the country. There are a ton of places that claim to have the best fish and chips in the country and honestly, a lot of them do. 
every single time we got the fish and chips when we're on the road, um, honestly, we think it's the best one, then the next one, and the next one. It's absolutely delicious. The fish is super fresh. Um, it always comes with uh, way too many fries. It's those kind of fish and chips that are served in a massive newspaper full of, uh, filled of, uh, of fries with, yeah. with uh, some fish on it. It's absolutely delicious. We actually did try uh, fish and chips almost every place we've been in New Zealand and uh, it almost never disappoints. So yeah, definitely worth trying fish and chips in New Zealand. All right, this wraps up our 15 food that you absolutely have to try in New Zealand. We hope you enjoy it. If you do, if you find it useful, if you do enjoy our video, hit subscribe, hit like, do all these kind of things. And if you do have some questions of your own that you want us to make a video about, make sure to put it in the comment below and tell us if you have tried any of those food and which one you like the most. And if there's anything that we've missed as yeah, well, that's true. let us know in the comments. But before we go, I want to say my favorite one out of this entire list is the pavlova. What about yours? Oh, it has it has to be fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips, yeah. pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, what is yours? Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.